Hello, my name is Paolo Fai, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to instrument Spring Boot application with Open Tracing API. So first, let's generate Spring Boot application. Let's call it Demo Open Tracing, and we are going to use Web Package. Hit Generate. Okay, so the app is there. We have to unzip it and open. IntelliJ. Let's look what is inside. And we can see there is no REST endpoint. So let's create one. And let's call it hello controller. We have to tell the spring that this is a rest controller. And let's create rest endpoint, which is going to return only string hello. Map it to the hello. Okay, so there is everything. At this point, application is not instrumented. Uh, we have two options. We could generate span, spans directly, or we can use framework integration, which will provide all the instrument all, all the instrumentation for free. So let's have a look and see if there are any instrumentations for Spring Boot. We can see there is Spring Web integration, and it also provides auto configure. Let's take this one, add it, add it to the class path. So now the application is instrumented, but it does not use any specific open tracing implementation. It uses only no tracer. So it won't we won't see any tracing data. Now we have to provide open tracing implementation, which will be used by this integration. We are going to use Jaeger. And we are writing Java, so let's let's use Java client. Take the dependency. Okay, so all we have to do is to provide open tracing tracer bean which will be used in the in the open tracing integration so let's do that i'm going to use my cheat sheet So it, this basically creates tracer with name Spring Boot, and we are going to sample all the requests. So at this point, application is instrumented with Open Tracing API and is going to use Jaeger Tracer, which will report tracing data to the Jaeger server. So let's start the server. Server is up and running. We can start the application. OK, 
Okay, so everything looks fine. Let's generate request to the hello endpoint. And we got the response. So let's look into the Yeager UI. We can see there is some data from, from the service. There is one trace. Let's look at the data. So we can see it's server span, hello endpoint, and we are using Jaeger Okay, so let's do something more complicated. We often have to do a request to another services. So let's create a simple request chaining. So let, let's create a REST endpoint, which we'll call the hello endpoint. And to do that, we need HTTP client. We are going to use a REST template. So Press template, add a request. And the body is going to be string. And we have to create this bean, right? Because we are injected it. So let's create rest and blend bean. So, okay, that, that should be everything. And we have to add request mapping for this endpoint. Let's call it chaining. Okay, we can restart it. Let's generate the request. plus hello from Spring Boot, so it's working well. Let's look into the Yager UI, and we can see that we created two requests. One took 28 milliseconds, and the next one maybe 77. So let's have a look at this one. And we can see that we call the chaining endpoint and the chaining endpoint called hello endpoint. So the instrumentation is working well. Uh, as we are using open tracing, we can use a different tracing system. And at, for example, we can switch to Zipkin. So let's do it. Zipkin provides brave open tracing library, which it's basically Zipkin open tracing implementation, and we are going to use it. So let's add it to the class path. Mm 
application. And we have to create or provide the bean for Zipkin Tracer. So this basically creates a sender, which will send the data to the Zipkin server and is going to use service name Spring Boot. The open tracing integration can take only one tracer implementation. So we are going to use only Zipkin. Okay. And we have to start Zipkin server. Okay, Zipkin is up and running. Let's at least restart our application. And let's generate some requests. So we can call hello, let's call it another time, let's call chaining. Now we can see the traces in Zipkin UI. So for example, this contains two spans. So this one is for the chaining and this one is for hello. As we can see, we are not generating traces for, for Jaeger, but all the traces are sent to Zipkin server. So in order to change open tracing implementation, we have to just provide a different tracer bean. So it's very easy to switch between tracing systems. Okay, this was everything in this, in this video. And in the next one, I'm going to show you how to instrument JAX-RS based application.